Uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome to WK Gaming. Well, push girl blitz, but today we're looking at the Badger. This is a tank that holds a lot of love for me. This is a tank that Skate Extreme used to carry on like a pork chop about. I want the Badger, I want the Badger, give me the Badger, I want the Badger. It's like, Skate, for God's sakes, Badger, 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 Mushroom, Mushroom, Mushroom. He lost his mind, that kid. Um, and the Badger was probably to blame for it. No, Skate's doing very well somewhere in the world, he's just not doing it with us. Uh, this is, <laughs> as we quit the game, because this is basically how I play this tank. I actually have been planning to make this video forever, and I forgot I had this project on the timeline. And I asked everyone for videos, some replays, and then I went to edit and I typed Blitz in the timeline, project manager thing, and it came up with this as well. I also want to thank everyone who sent in replay files. If you want to send replays in, I am looking at them. I am recording them. I've got a heap of stuff. It's really, really great. It gives me a great opportunity to get videos out. Um, it's bushkagaming at gmail.com. I'll leave that on the screen here. Oh, look, we'll tuck it down there in the bottom left corner. Everyone rip in and send me a replay. Why don't you leave a description of what the replay's about while you're in there? The reason I want to make a video about this is this is trading. This tank was built to trade. Uh, you saw at the start when things don't go right, like as soon as someone gets on your left or your right and you're in a crossfire and you have to angle to more than one target, you're hopeless. You're dead. It's all over. Forget about it. Just turn the screen off, flick the iPad like a frisbee and go and, I don't know, play Jenga. Do the wordle. I don't care. But the, you're going to get wrecked in this thing. What I love about this tank, though, is it was born for that pissed off kind of, let's all go for a little drive and punch someone in the face at the same time feeling. Because that's what the Badger does. If you are using this like a traditional TD, where you sit at the back, you might occasionally have a good game because the gun's great, it works, it has high DPM and all that, but you're completely wasting it. You can use lots of other weapons to do that. What you want to do in this tank is lock the W key and just aim. That's all you need to do. If you can do that, it will really value out the tank. And what it does is trade. So you're basically taking 2,000 hit points and trying to turn it into a 4,000 hit point deficit for the enemy. And the more damage you do, the better you are. That's all you're here for. Like, you're just here for damage and absorbing big booty. It's like a heavy tank. And it's got gun depression, it's got a very tough to pen uh, upper plate, and it's just a lot of fun. And if someone wants to be silly enough to make trades with you and, and stay in front of you, Dog TVP, welcome to Asia, mate. They love a, a, an animal reference here. You're a dog, you're a pig, you're a monkey. That's what we call each other over here. Um, dog TVP, there we go. Every like pig, I told you. There was only a second away. Look at this, look where I am. I am in. Like, they're like, where the fuck did this badger come from? And why is he doing this to me? And it's just what the badger does. You don't muck around with this. You drive forward. Bounce some shots. Take some shots. Take two for one. Why don't you? Put them at sixes and sevens. Make them feel the pain. Every like pig, dog, TVP. I mean, Asia. This is the best. I go changing Asia. If you ever want to just get completely tilted, come and play on the Asia server. Um... They'll yell at you as soon as they die. Not for particularly anything, just because you are in the same game as them. I don't know. It's what they do. Dog, monkey, pig. They never call you an elephant, but it'd be fun if you got called an elephant every once in a while. What's so cool about this tank? Well, super high deeps, super strong armor, and an intemperate disposition. I play this unlike a lot of people play the Badger. Because for a lot of people, the Badger is just a TD. They see medium, light, heavy TD. And of course, we're in a positionless league now. Like, that's a TD, right? That's a TD where it's basically just a huge, big-ass, high-aim time pain in the ring. And everyone plays it. I've played it a lot. It's fun. You're high-rolling for Jesus. When you're not high-rolling, the other team's lolling. It's not good giggle. But look at this. Look at this thing. Look at the TDs in spawn. The, the object 268 back there. These guys are like, ah, oh, fuck. Just, oh, well, hang on. I take it all back. The object 268 slash 4. God's answer to underpowered Soviet TDs is in the game. 
because Russian TDs were rubbish. Let's have a snapshot. Let's not say we did. And I know I'm screwed here. I know I'm screwed. I've gone too far. I have overextended. It's what I do. But my plan is, I just got to do more damage to them than they take hit points off me. So if I can do 2,000 damage, I'm doing okay. Look at the armor profile of that thing. What a beast. Here we go. A little bit of trouble. Uh, someone needs to say dog or, or pig in the chat. It is Asia. Oh, go, go to the APCR. Keep getting damaged. Keep jiggling. Keep higgling. Keep, like, even if you are going to take the damage and you know it, the longer it takes them to damage you, the more chance there is that they're going to get killed by someone else later in the game. And, you know, I'd like to think that I was the reason we won that game. I honestly think I was. I'll show you a couple more games because obviously uh, we've got to get this out to 10 minutes or we won't get any YouTube ad revenue and we're all about the ad revs. Uh, this is the T1104 which has just been buffed. I have not really driven a lot of blitz this week. I had COVID last week, um, actually two weeks ago and it kicked me in the ass. So I was doing a lot of extra stuff and it really took it out of me. Um, that thing's got a lot of pen. I know I'm going to take the hit but this is the key. DPM is damage per minute, right? So the longer that it takes him to fire a shot, the slower his DPM. And if it gets to the point where the enemy TD takes so long to fire a shot that I get two shots for the price of one, then that means we probably save our hit point pool. And as you can see, we're just, just throwing as much crap at the... I'm turning around already. Um, oh, what happened there? I couldn't tell you what happened there. I don't know why we lost that clip, but it's not there anymore. So moving along right right now, this is the last uh, last game of the day in the old Badger Raja as we push through the middle here. Hasn't this map changed just so tremendously? Desert Sands, I would love to see, and I've talked to old-time tankers about this before. I would love to see Blitz release, um, like just for training rooms, the original maps. Um, so that you guys and girls who only just started playing could see what the game used to be like and how much they've flattened everything out and made it even Stevens. This, for a lot of people, would be a bad idea. And I'm not saying it's a good idea, but this yo sure as hell did not expect this. And while he has lovely burst damage, he does not have the sustained deeps of this thing. And we have adrenaline rushed, and we are not mucking around. He's still going. Okay, he's got his gun back. We start jiggling. Maybe just make it hard for him to hit a shot. Even if he's going to hit it, just make him take forever to get it up. And then we've got the deeks back on, and he's bounced one. And sure, we're in trouble. Sure, we've already done two and a half thousand damage, and the game's only been going for a minute. <laughs> I mean, like, that yo's like, are you fucking kidding? There you go, I'm going to use the carcass of him. On to the next. This is WK. And this is the Badger. This is how you should be using the Badger. I see so many people using the Badger like a long-range TD. Centurion, I love you. You're a, you're my buddy. Look at you, stealing my kills. Oh, hello. Nope. You're not pinning. You're not pinning. Have you seen that gun? 310. 310. You got 105 millimeters of Soviet love. It is not enough. Oh, that thing up the back does, though. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Bouncing Spartacus. Come back, come back. You know you want that shot. Yeah, wiggling, jiggling. Bouncing again. 5,000 damages. He's put the gun up. Fuck this, he says. <laughs> I can't pen that thing. This is the huge big tomato. I've had enough of your rubbish. He just takes another chin. What a champion. What an absolute champion. 5.6k and we stuff it here. We should have just used a normal thing. We hit his gun. That's just what you do. There's no way we're getting to the back. And 6k has gone begging. That's the badger in a nutshell. Uh, this is one of those tanks where if you're not making trades, you're probably wasting your gun. Because it's so slow. Um, well, it's faster than it used to be. But it's still way too slow to be sitting up the back in the TD slot. And it doesn't have the high alpha for that kind of gameplay style. Sustain deeps, big upper plate. You know you want it. You know you can't help it. You're going to go grab some. Go grab it now. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Look after yourselves and stay safe on Z Battlefield.
Bye for now. <laughs>